Nikki receives some disturbing news. She has been drinking and she gets in her car and has an accident. I would say almost suicidal. She hates herself. She can't stop drinking. Victor's in jail. It, it's just horrible. This woman appears in the church who is her guardian angel. She just sort of became a tragedy that you can't stop watching. It's like watching a train wreck. <laughs> She's rich. She has everything in the world and yet inside she has nothing a lot of the time. Been here 32 years. I started, I was 23 years old. Nikki was already a drama queen, although she was poor and from the wrong side of the tracks and decided to be a stripper and all of that. You've been out all over town with everything that wears a pair of pants. I'm trying to change that. Change, you'll never change. So grateful that we had all of this footage from 32 years ago and have the same actors playing the roles. I mean, just that alone is worth watching, even if you don't know the story. To see the same actors playing the same characters over 30 years later in these flashbacks, it was rocking. I looked at Eric and myself and I thought, look how beautiful we were, look how young we were, oh my God. As far as what Nikki would want for Christmas, in prior years, it's always been Victor. <laughs> <laughs> and it may be him again this year, too. I don't know. It, I think it even goes down to the production values of, of lighting, of props. Our show is known for looking very lush and beautiful, flowers downstage and lots of sweeping pans. But we are still known for that. We have a certain look that the other shows don't. Please tune in on December 23rd for a very special Christmas episode.